Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the NECA Gremlins Series 4 Mogwai figures. We're having a look today at Penny. Shop for collector figures, statues, prop replicas, and more at Alter Ego Comics and earn rewards points that can be redeemed on any items. No exclusions. Penny, as well as the other two figures that make up this Mogwai Series 4, are technically concept Mogwais. They were created by the same Rick, Ma the Rick Baker Studios for Gremlins 2, the new batch, but these were all concept series Mogwais. Uh, Spot actually was able to get himself all three of these. I uh, picked them up over at Alter Ego Comics, so I'm going to provide that information down below. So if you are interested in picking up the Gremlins, head over to Alter Ego Comics. They've carried them all right now. On the back of the package, roll Chack Ball to move Mogwai Eyes 360 degrees. You can collect them all, Penny, Brownie, and Duda. Spot will be having a look at all three of these in the coming reviews. Also be on the lookout for the Spider Gremlin. It says coming soon, but technically I believe he's already out. And all this coming to us from the folks over at NECA. What I am going to do is take a break. I'm going to get this open up, and when we come back, we are going to get a better look at the Gremlins Mogwai Series 4 Penny. There's more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Having a look at Penny... You can kind of see where a lot of the details, really a lot of the molds, were carried over from the previous Mogwai waves. Um, I think Penny really has a gizmo look to her. Obviously, she's been just uh, repainted in different aspects. She's got more of this, um, this zebra print, which is really a nice effect on the, the entire body of, uh, of Penny. She's got the white in the front, but then she's got this nice gray stripe goes down the back here, and then she's got this zebra print on the arms and the sides of the body and lower legs. Uh, her face, again, probably was reused from from uh, from Gizmo, although I don't work, the, the mouth section looks very different. Uh, she's still got the articulation in the ears, so I mean, you can still contour the ears depending on how you want them. Being that these are also concept mogwai, it's really up to you how you want to have them uh, posed. Uh, speaking of pose, the trackball eye is still on the back here, the little trackball to move the eyes. But it's, uh, you can see right there, it's extremely loose, which means that her eyes don't quite move as well as uh, some of the other mogwais that I've picked up before. You kind of have to do some real... Maneuver building, maneuvering to uh, to get these eyes to move properly. And if you're not careful, then they look a little cross-eyed. Uh, but I really like the paint. I would say, though, that the Mogwise as a whole, this particular wave, um, probably geared more towards the completionists out there that want to get every single Mogwai, like this guy right here. Um, the, the, she is a... I, say she's really an adorable looking piece um, but because again she's a concept mogwai do you necessarily need her to be in your collection not not really she is still though a good looking figure and uh, i think neca did a great job on these the fact that they would actually go and uh, have a look at some of the the non-produced pieces out there and give them figure form definitely says something to the standards that NECA continues to do. I mean, when they run with a line, uh, especially like with, when you would, you have the Mogwais here, they really run with the property, giving us figures that we've seen before, and in this case, like Penny, perhaps like figures we have not seen before. Articulation on Penny, she does have the ball jointed head, which moves up and down, left and right, and really to some extent on an angle. Um, as I've already showed you, she does have the ball joint in the ears. I might even just keep them kind of back like that. She does have the ball joint in the shoulders, which they don't really move all that much. The beefy belly that uh, Penny has here, as well as the other Mogwais, really limit the amount of movability you have with the arms. But you can still get the arms to move out. She does have a, a second ball joint uh, in, the, in the forearm and a rotation in her hands. 
The lower legs, same idea. There is a ball joint, a hinge that will allow the legs to move, but you're not really going to get a lot of movement out of them. Um, because she is also uh, a concept Mogwai, it would be nice that if she had come with something. And I don't know if this would be something that NECA would approach with future lines of uh, Gremlins, or really if they're going to wrap things up with the Series 4. But if we had just gotten like accessories along the way, it would have been a nice treat as well. Uh, Penny, the paint is very vibrant on her. I like this this zebra print that they've they've got they've designed the Mogwai with. That's a really nice touch. I would say, even though I haven't technically reviewed the other two yet, uh, Penny, looking at the design of her, might possibly be my favorite so far. I say so far, again, Spot really hasn't reviewed the other two. Penny, I'm going to give her an 8.5. Really solid work on the paint. And uh, certainly stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have a look at the review on the other two Mogwais as well. And again, if you are interested in picking these up, head over to Ultra Ego Comics. You can get the entire wave. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the NECA Gremlins Mogwai Series 4 Penny. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.